Hey guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know. And today I want to talk to you guys about the things that I won't declutter in my home. So these are kind of my personal home essentials. And I wanted to make this list more unique items, not so much like you need a bed, you need a couch, those kind of like standard things in your home. About this time last year, I think it was, I made a video about first apartment essentials and I still am in said first apartment and I thought I'd update you on some more things that I deem essential in my life to make my home as functional and enjoyable as possible. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I will not declutter from my home is my tool drawer. So I'm gonna show you without any organization when I open this drawer for you what it looks like. Honestly, it's a mess, but everything in there I'm keeping because it's so important to have a variety of tools in your home for whatever comes up. They, I will guarantee you there will be a time that you need a tiny flathead screwdriver. It will happen. <laughs> so just over the years I've been accumulating just small tools that really come in handy when you need it the most. The next thing is a mattress protector. Now I didn't buy one of these for the longest time just because I didn't want like an uncomfortable layer blocking me from my super lovely cushiony mattress. But I thought especially with postpartum coming up and uh, birth coming up that I don't want my water to break <laughs> on my mattress that I just bought. So I just bought one off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I really like it. It's super comfortable. I can't even tell that it's there, which is really all I'm asking. <laughs> now this third item that I will not declutter is my Swiffer Duster. I avoided getting one of these for the longest time because they are not very eco-friendly but they honestly do such a good job like no other duster compares especially when you can get the one with like the extendo arm like there's something about the fabric that they use that just attracts dust to it. There really is nothing comparable so I've chosen to stick to it and I have no regrets. The next item that I won't declutter from my home is my bidet. I have shared this item with you guys a few times now. I have the Tushy Bidet and this thing is honestly just the best. Like it makes you feel so clean all the time. I'm so excited for the use I'll get out of it with postpartum and then obviously with the pandemic going on right now and the shortage of toilet paper, it's come in real handy. Honestly, like this is a staple in my household that I will never get rid of. So the home that I live in, we are on well water. I've mentioned this before. And because of that, we have hard water, which smells so bad. I'm used to it now, but when I first moved in here and I took showers, I could not handle the smell of the steamy hard water. It just, it smells metally. I don't know. It has a very distinct odor. Like I said, I'm over it now and I don't notice it, but at the same time, I have an issue with the tap water because I grew up always drinking tap water and now I can't do that because it tastes like hard water because that's what it is. So the essential I'm getting to is having a Brita filter. I have both the water drug and the attachment for my sink and these things are must-haves for me because at any point if I want water directly out of the tap I can just turn this little switch over and filtered water comes out and then I also have the fridge filtered jug for chilled water. So I wanted to find some good zero waste options for cleaning my dishes and the best combination I found was this wooden scrubber thing that has, um, I don't really know what the bristles are made of, but I know it's all like compostable, zero waste. And this thing works really well, but if you ever have some food that is just really stuck on and won't budge, I also have some steel wool that can really aggressively take all that stuff out. And yeah, I just found that this combo works really well and I'm never in a situation where I can't clean my dishes unless it's something over the top and it would just take too much effort to scrub then I just let it soak and come back to it later. <laughs> My next must-have is our Chromecast. So this is something we discovered a few years ago and I know it's not like new news but this is like such an awesome thing to have in your home where you can just cast things directly from your phone onto your TV so we don't have to use like a 
console for Netflix or YouTube or we don't have to have a smart TV. All we have to do is cast it from our phone. It just makes life so much easier and simplified. I know you can also get like an Apple TV which I think does like the same thing but I just know Chromecast so <laughs> that's what I use. My next must have are my produce containers. These guys I showed you in a previous video. They are just these Tupperware containers that have like a humidity adjustment on them to make your produce last so much longer in the fridge. This is such an awesome item to have in your home because I love having fresh produce in my fridge but I'm really bad at eating it all before it goes bad especially when we're trying to limit the amount of times we're going to the grocery store. These guys are super awesome and they're a real life hack. And the last home essential that I have is our dehydrator. This guy is super awesome. We've had it for a couple years now. If you're not into dehydrated food, then definitely like pass on this guy. But we find it super helpful for if we ever do have produce that is about to go bad, we can just dehydrate it and make that food last longer. Or we can buy like fresh herbs and dehydrate them and make our own spices. There's so many options. I think you can also make your own like fruit roller up type thing. We just find this thing super handy and also just a really fun like variety in the food that we make. So yeah, those are all the items that I will not be decluttering for my home and that I deem as essentials. Again, not all these items are going to be essentials for yourself, but it's whatever works for your lifestyle. If you like this video, you might like my video where I talk about things I don't own as a minimalist. So go check that one out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!